right guys, Zeke, we're talking lead. Left hand here, and we are here with a good friend Rob Pinkett at the Winchester American Legend booth at the 2015 SHOT Show. And for the first time ever, he has not said a word in the first 20 seconds. Of the he hasn't video. cut me off yet, so I'm waiting for him to cut me off. I know. You're doing good. He's like, he's, he's nodding, <laughs> and he's just like, hey, man. You know. The teleprompter was going to run out eventually. I knew you were going to stop talking. I was running out of words so, here. So. Welcome to the, uh, which is, we're talking about the W train and defense rounds. And if you're not familiar with these rounds, they came out last year, 9 millimeter. This year, we got the 45 as well. You know, the whole idea was the engineer said, all right, we have a lot of new shooters, whether they're female shooters, whether they're uh, men who just didn't grow up around guns, who joined the shooting community and they want the concealed carry permit. We also have a lot of single stack and compact carry guns people are using now, which means more recoil impulse because the gun's thinner, right, and the gun's lighter. So taking a bullet that performs as well as these bullets perform and making sure that you get the... I'm going to tell you to shut up. Hey, so you guys are making a lot of noise. We're trying to do a video. I mean, whatever. It's cool. It's a shot show. Awesome. Media and it's day. not getting it it's edited out. It's not getting out. edited out. So, <laughs> back to what I was saying. It was really he important. He never misses a beat. About engineering the bullet, right? How do we make the bullet perform but have less recoil? That's the, that's the problem. So they do science. They do math. They make things happen. And this is basically the same type of engineering you see in the Ranger bullets or the PDX-1 Defender bullets, but it runs at a lower pressure. And in fact, the pressure was so low that it practically became a training round type pressure, like a Winchester white box. Right. So they went ahead and, and tweaked it, right? Now you've got the branding of the W line, defend the D, train T, and what we've got is exactly the same. Defend the D. No, defend, defend D. D. I thought you said train defend the D. Train T. I think he said defend I defend the D. it. I defend the D. Yeah, I you try me. Yeah. Uh, so, so, yes. The idea is. <laughs> I've got two magazines loaded with a mix and match. I know what they are because I yes. can see, right? I know which ones are which, which ones aren't which. And I want you to shoot it and then try to tell me, like, you know, which round was a hollow point, which round was the training round, or how okay. many were. Just kind of feel that impulse because it used to be you'd load up a magazine like this. It's and a you'd game. Get bang, bang. I like bang, games. Bang, boom. Bang, boom, right? Yeah. Now it's not that. It's just bang, bang, bang. It's all reduced recoil, but we still get the performance. When we do the gel test, we still get that 12 to 15 inches of penetration we're looking for out of the nine millimeter. Right. I, I, I get it, like I know how to shoot. I've been shooting for a while. I'm not really that worried about recoil for any macho reason, right? right? It's just the idea is if I can shoot a gun faster because it has less recoil but I still get the same performance why wouldn't I want to do that yeah so it's not a women's round it's not a new shooter round it's not just a single stack round even in 45 in the double stack m &P, it's a better round because you can shoot faster now okay. I'm gonna bring Scott Watson over here Scott, Scott was Watson Jed. well it's, I thought it's, his name was Jed that's his cousin his name Berg yes. Jed Berg Jed, Jed right. jump in Mr. here, Berg. Come on over here. Uh, Jed right. you explain the target system I'm gonna get the guns ready all right so the bottom line what we're trying to answer with the system is how many times so I shoot my attacker before I'm done. Uh, and what will what anybody would teach you, what Mr. Pinkus here would teach you is shoot it till it falls. But when you train on traditional targetry, you never really get there. There's nothing indicating to you, there's no response from the target that tells you when the fight's over. And so we're trying to introduce that. When our steel pops up, first of all, uh, each target's gonna have a random number of hits assigned to it. Uh, and likewise, the computer's gonna determine the target order. So when I watch you shoot, it's gonna be a different order from when I shoot or when you shoot. So each shooter has his own unique experience. You gotta scan, find your threat, and shoot till it goes down. So these down. are computerized targets? Yes, sir, that's the bottom line. Yeah, I run everything off of an iPod Touch, so wow. I'm able to communicate to the computer, and I give it, frankly, very few choices. What I've told the computer for you guys is I wanna see a single threat, and I wanna see it three times. The computer's gonna pick the order that they appear in, and it's gonna pick the round count that we're gonna do. Okay. All right? Fair enough. Are you ready? We're ready. Okay. Hi, right, sir. You're, you're too quiet over there on the set. Yeah. Please, you know, make it a little more rowdy. We need to make it more difficult. I was taking selfies. <laughs> All right. Who Are you up? Go first. All right. All right. It's the safety model of the MP, the model that should never have Are you ready? 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 All right, here we go. Stand by. You got to hit it. hit it first. I'm trying. <laughs> It's that damn M and P Rob, again. Rob, show him, show him how to aim. All right, so, all right, so, all right. See this little? You want to put it in the middle of the notchy, the lady part in the notchy part, and then. All right, wait, but wait. First of all, hey, we, this, this here's same the question. problem. Here's a question. All right, this happened to us a year ago. You shot with a that bunch. Same of, damn gun. Same shot gun. a bunch of rounds. How many of them were hollow points? How many of them were training rounds? 
and I have no idea. They all have the same. And physics says you shouldn't be able to tell. It's exactly the same thing. It's 147 grains at 900 feet per second, 950 feet per second, out of the same gun, same hand, same person. You should not be able to tell the difference. All right, now what I want you to do is shoot a little slower and be awesome and knock down some timber targets. Safety off. He is. You can't shoot me. Uh, this is the first time the whole day that we've had to reload more than two magazines for this demo. I got sunburned. Talk about so yeah. So I, stroke. Um, what's new with you? And like uh, back hurts and uh, you look good. You've shaved. Yes. Yeah, you cleaned up a little bit. You got the hair thing. The hair is like How'd that thing go? You donated the hair? Donated the hair to like Hawks Locks for Kids. I like it. He's I like next. It. I know, I know. I'm so yeah. excited about him not having that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, for realsies Someday. now. For realsies. For realsies. Right. Right. Trying not to embarrass him. I'm trying not to. Aim right. What Aim the right. hell? I mean, really? All right. Maybe you have wait, blanks in here. Let me see. <laughs> it's got a block trigger. Sort of <laughs> it's definitely you. Yes, it is. <laughs> hey! I'm suing my LASIK. Red, red. What the? Get out of here. I like my side picture. Right. Perfect. Left hand. <laughs> Left hand. If you would, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I know you've been practicing. I have. Give me a Glock. What else? What's new with you? Well, you know, I've got the hair still. It's, yeah, you know, still I see attached. that. I see that. Uh, it may be gone by the end of the week. You know, can I have a any, any day now? Can I do any day now. We're looking for maybe somebody to donate a knife to. We, yeah, all right. Right. We now your job is going to be to tell right, me. So what am I doing? Which of these are hollow points? Which of these are training rounds? Okay. So as I shoot one at a time, I'll I'll make a guess. Unlike, Unlike it's your favorite M and P trigger too. Yeah. Oh, un I know. Unlike your partner, hit the target. Go. All right, which was which? Stop pointing the gun at Jesus. I couldn't tell. Nor should you be able to. No, right? the, the recall, no. everything felt the same. All right, how many rounds did it take to drop each target? Just to take two, three, three. You only dropped two. But that's it, right? I think it was two and four, right? Yeah. It was two and four, and two then you four. put one hit into this, the third one. But here's the okay. trick, right? If you talk to somebody who really is in a gunfight and they just had to defend themselves, we know, right? We, we're to, we tell cops, we tell everybody, first defense, don't try to guess how many rounds you fire. Don't say, I only fired two rounds. You may think you only fired two rounds, but you fired nine. Right. You may think you fired nine, you fired three. Yeah. You may have fired a slide lock. I had no I idea, I was two. just throwing numbers out. And that's the trick, right? Is that if bad guy came up, you drew your gun, you shot it until the bad guy went down, and that's really all you need to know. And this training system allows you to do that, and these rounds allow you to do it with lower recoil. So that's Very what we're cool. showing off here today. So it's the Jetbird target system. And the Winchester, and the Winchester W train and defend ammo. And with my editing magic, I hit everything. I really, that was impressed. You really shot well today. That's right. Well yeah, done, thanks, sir. You've Thank been you. practicing. Yeah, appreciate yes. that. Yeah. Rob, appreciate it, buddy. Yeah, man. Always. Sure. He's trying to make it a thing. So it is everybody a thing. calls like I'm Scott Jed Watson. There you go. Watsonburg. It's gonna happen. Watsonburg right Kentucky. Kentucky. Stick on this Watsonburg, Kentucky. Kentucky. I had best chicken pot pie in Watsonburg, Kentucky ever. I want to say it.